a little bit of a, let's say, review for this game. It was fun! I did not expect it to be this fun, but it was a lot. Like, the mechanics, the very old mechanics, were fantastic. I enjoyed them a lot. Like, the chances of throw that the D&D &D mechanics are in this game, but they are, like, behind the main mechanics, is just fantastic. Like, that's just cool. That's cool implementation. As well as the use of the statistics, the abilities, the level upping. This is the first time in Elder Scrolls games where you level up by uh, using certain skills, not by killing monsters all the time. Uh, factions. I was shocked when I found out there are factions in this game and that you need them to complete the game because you need to be known, you need to be powerful, you need to have influence. I am currently uh, I am currently a master of standard and a marshal of the Knights of the Rose. So yeah. You can also join the Thief Guild, the Dark Brotherhood. This is more complicated as I've read, but you can do it. Uh, what else? The world. The world is awesome. It is like polygonal, but it is well built. Like uh, people who made this had to place all this stuff in here. They had to shape this in here. Hours of work, if not years. I think so, <laughs> at least. Uh, comparing to Arena, the world is not flat, which is good. Uh, there's a lot of new elements, new textures, better textures. Uh, new enemies. The old, most of the old enemies from the arena aren't here, like goblins, ghouls. They are not existent in there. Uh, but in law, they are not even considered uh, Iliac Bay monsters. Like they mostly exist in Cyrodiil, um, and arena was about uh, mainly empire. So you know. The lore in Arena wasn't yeah, in Arena. The lore wasn't even built yet. That's the best part. The the, the lore wasn't there yet. Uh, the crafting mechanics, because there is crafting in this game. Yes, you can craft uh, items if you are a knight. You can craft uh, magical items if you are a mage. You can craft potions if you have ingredients and your faction, because multiple factions can craft potions. And other than that, you can also have, like, uh, you can craft spells as well, magic, you know. And uh, as far as I think so, uh, having craft your own crafted spell uh, make them more powerful than the bot spell. Also, one thing I very liked about this game was how different the characters were. The characters for each faction. They had motivations, they had uh, their own goals, their own like uh, attitude, behavior. Uh, this is just good writing. Like I did not expect this by this uh, old game, but it was just good writing, straight up. Uh, the resting mechanic was upgraded since the last game, since Arena, a lot. Because in Arena you just rested and that's it. You can you could rest it anywhere you wanted. Um, the the, the Tavens were there to make you safe, not to be a place to sleep. You know, like you have to sleep there, otherwise you are being considered criminal if you sleep in the streets because that's kind of loitering. Even though there is loitering, and it's not considered crime. So, yeah, it's funny. Um, also, uh, the spawn rate of monsters is not big. Like, sometimes this world feels very empty because the monsters only spawn up to two. That's kind of disappointing, but also balanced because you are not swamped by enemies. In fact, this game has a bit more a bit less balanced fighting mechanics because in arena you were just hitting with enemies and you could just drink your potions all the time. Uh, in here potions don't stack, they have like a lot of weight, so you can have like 
I don't know, maybe 15 potions and that's it because uh, their weight is going to overweight you and you won't be able to carry enough gold or items because gold also have weight. Items have weight in this part in this game. They don't didn't have in arena. Oh wait, no, they did, but not potions or gold. Items did, not potions or gold. Um, and yeah, in here you have to move more tactically. You have to expect your enemies to move. You have to lead them to you in the correct way to hit them, to fight them. Uh, walk around corner to like win with them. And the best part is you can always win the fight, even if you are underleveled, if you know how to move. The movement is very important in this game. Uh, so yeah, but, like most of times you're going to fight in the dungeons when there is not enough space to move around, but still, it is a mechanic, it works. Uh, weaponry is ganged up because it's cons you need certain levels, like tiers of materials, to hit certain enemies. The best one is Dedrick, but from, uh, like, I think it was dwarven to the uh, dwarf, uh, from the dwarf tier to the upper tiers, uh, you can hit everything. Like, d dwarf tier is something you have to reach, because some quests require you to kill certain enemies you wouldn't be able to slay with your lower tier weapon. Uh, that's how I got kicked out of the order of the Kinnereff? Yeah, as a bard I was kicked out of Kinnereff because I didn't have the balls, the, the, the strength, the anything to kill the Deldroth that was supposed to be summoned. I couldn't hit him and he was one-shotting me. I didn't know the game yet. Now I do. I would probably not take this quest because you know saving is very important in this game it's best to have uh, like multiple saves and each one of them is for a different thing like you have the main save but it's like your uh, like your blind point where you know from your the current session starts then you have like my progressing when you just go through this session and you save when you feel like it's the best moment to save uh, then you have quest taking, and that's the thing I'm talking about. Uh, the quests are so not well done. Quests are so bad, uh, apart from the storyline quest, because uh, those are banger. The shitty quests are the quests where you are supposed to go and kill a dragon, where you have to, where you have to go and kill a giant because you can't kill them if you don't have their current weapon and these quests start just like that. It's not like you can avoid them, you have to start these quests. And th these enemies appear on every level. Oh yeah, also, the, lev the world chain level upping with you. This is also a thing that people uh, see in Elder Scrolls, like this is a thing Elder Scrolls implemented as first. And uh, <coughs> it happened first in Daggerfall. Because in Arena, you become super powerful, you are super powerful. Nothing's got a chance against you if you have all the resistance, all the damage and stuff. In here, uh, you get stronger, enemies get stronger too. Like, knights start to be more tanky, uh, less, less faster. They, they are slower, yeah. Uh, but they are also more tanky, they need more hits to get killed. Barbarians attack faster, they keep the tankiness because barbarians were tanky from the beginning. I met a bit of uh, barbarians at lower level when I was grinding this character to continue the game with not as a bard but as something more useful and powerful. And... Uh, hmm. And the barbarians were very tanky, but uh, didn't swing so fast. On higher levels, they if they start swinging, they won't stop unless you leave them alone and get away the hell away from them. Uh, mages, mages are the bane of this game. <coughs> if there's something bad about this game, it's the magic enemies. They one-shot you with everything. Seriously, everything they have, like. Blast, 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 blast. Electricity is electricity. 
is what makes world go round. <laughs> Honestly, this is just bullshit. So yeah, I rate this game 8 out of 10. If not for the bugs, non-explanations, the stupid enemies sometimes, it would be 10 out of 10 because this game is so awesome. Like, it's so old and yet it feels so refreshing. I feel nostalgic while playing it, even though I never played it before. This is the first playthrough. I will come back to it. I will probably stream it when I get uh, more recognized on the internet, but yeah. I think it's a good idea. I'll probably... What is this? This is hell. All right. I will probably simply do a challenge with some other content creators. If, there, if I will meet any that will be considered my co-workers on YouTube platform. <laughs> Uh, and we will do it. We will be like, who will clear Daggerfall faster? It will be a it will be a hard challenge, especially for those who never played this game. I'll probably forget about it because I have ADHD. But yeah, I will remember the quests. I will remember who. I will certainly remember. I will certainly remember Law because Law is banger. This is the first time the lore of Elder Scrolls is implemented. So I hope you like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!